really my first contact was with the Jesuits. And in fact, my high school was in the Jesuit high school in uh, Kerala, Halepi. And my immediate elder brother, Julian, he went to the Salesians, thanks to our parish priest who referred him uh, from Munar to Cochin, Ernakulam, you know. Um, so he went there after his seventh class. Uh, that was the uh, way they used to take children after seventh class. And one year there and then moved to Tirupattur and so forth. So what made this change, my thinking from, from Jesuits to Salesians was my brother, the way he was, and uh, once a year they used to, uh, he used to come home like they would have only annual year holiday. Uh, so it so captured me. I so, said, uh, "Let me uh, tell him this," and then then he took me to his rector, and uh, the rector said, "You finish your high school, you get your results. If you pass, you can come to Tripurthur." So there it began. There used to be what is called a post matric where we had to learn Latin. Latin and uh, English were the two subjects the whole year, but uh, Latin was compulsory. And uh, after that, of course, I was uh, from Kerala to Tamil Nadu. The system was still 11 plus 1 there. So I did the 11th matric, Madras matric, along with the others, and then to pre university. In uh, 68, 60, uh, 67, 68 was the pre-university year. And uh, 68 May, all of us who were to continue with the solutions went to year court for our novitiate. In my one year novitiate, and in 69, 24th of May was our first profession made. So we become uh, proper, let us say, full-fledged solution. From then, after novitiate, we make the profession. Then uh, we enter into what is proper uh, for anyone who wants to become a priest. So the philosophy, and then uh, regency. Of course, we also did a regular uh, degree course. I did my BA in in our college in Tripurthur with all my batchmates. Then uh, later to theology. Uh, Delegate in Bangalore, Kasujyoti College. So at the end of uh, the four years, I ordained uh, uh, priests. And then ever since my ordination, I've been in Andhra Pradesh. Uh, so that is nearly 40 years. I mean, taking away the six years in Delhi, it would mean uh, 34 years there in Andhra Pradesh. John Bosco was very captivating kind of a uh, sort of a image that I saw in him, in the kind of love for the young people that he, he had. Also the preventive system, very much, uh, not by using sticks and uh, yelling at young people that um, he believed in. Uh, in the development of a person, not through violence, but through uh, his method, what we called, uh, he called a uh, preventive system of reason, religion, and loving kindness. That was something very, very special. Probably no one else in the world had uh, uh, brought up a system like that. Imagine he coming up with a system like that in, uh, in the 19th century. The rest of the clergy of those years where uh, clergy was oh no, a kind of on a platform always, you know, the aristocratic way they lived and they were expected to be respected by the society and so forth. While this man uh, decided to quit all that and be on the street, meet the youngsters and kids on the street. Uh, and in fact, uh, his uh, fellow priests in the diocese thought he is mad really mad. And uh, one of them tried to take him to a, a, a home or a, uh, uh, what do you call, institution for the mad people. He came up, he was smart, so he came up to the, the gates of this uh, big home for the mad people. He jumped out and uh, 
the, told the man at the gates to take this man inside. So, <laughs> so <laughs> he was so, so smart uh, to be able to do that. And then, of course, he came back and continued his work. We have uh, uh, hundreds and thousands of uh, kids who are homeless who are on the roaming on the streets, uh, rag picking or you know whatever they found they could do to earn a living. So one is struggle for uh, sort of uh, survival, and then also uh, there is all the, the society. In those years, there is some change now, but. Uh, uh, looked upon them as uh, petty thieves, uh, lazy fellows, or guys who don't want to live with their uh, in their families. These are the negative kind of uh, comments, as well as the way they treated them. So, so they they went through huge amount of uh, what do you call insults, humiliations, and struggles from that itself. Besides, of course, the material uh, want they face. So when I had the opportunity to take it up, I said, yes, this is exactly what I wanted to do. Uh, one of the kids in the shelter, mm, when tested, he was, yeah, there was a, a scan done and found a tumor uh, abscess brain abscess was found and then he had to go for a brain surgery uh, which I couldn't afford, even the scanning also. Uh, a gentleman in the town, in the city of Vijayawada, he came forward, you know, uh, sponsoring that. It was a thousand five hundred rupees or something, but it was too big for me to afford. And then the surgery. And uh, uh, there were people there at the right time to help through so he had his surgery done in uh, St. Teresa's in Hyderabad, Secunderabad and happily recovered and he is a happy family man uh, down in Tamil Nadu in Madurai. Uh, so that was very, uh, very tough. Somewhere in, when there was a children's mela in Hyderabad, the we media people interviewing kids and one kid whoever it was seemed to have said you know in the shelter they feed us well and uh, drug us and then take our, take our blood okay <laughs> and so and you hear it it is so amusing a sort of a comment uh, for the media fellows to pick up and come out with a story yeah anyone else would uh, think twice is that real or could it be real and so forth and uh, that came in the newspaper, one of those uh, English newspapers. And then there was a whole lot of sort of uh, the, uh, the from the government inquiry, police and department, and all sort of thing. Uh, so uh, they found there was nothing of that sort. But you know, you go through uh, all that. It was not an easy thing, yeah, you know. Means that I had were very, very frugal, you know. Uh, so I had to struggle to find support uh, to, you know, carry on with the work and giving food to the children who came to the shelter from the streets and uh, yeah, find uh, sort of means to send them to school or this uh, kind of a uh, challenge it was but I would uh, uh, like to say that uh, uh, supports and help came at uh, the time when it was most needed and this was uh, a real big experience for me Divine Providence was there at a very critical juncture you will find somebody uh, uh, help giving a helping hand. This was uh, something I would say a gift from the Lord and uh, uh, from the from the saint and uh, of course from the congregation 
that I received one of the biggest gifts is to be able to be in this uh, work with the children at, children at risk. <laughs> Ta-na-na-ta-na-na-na-na Ta-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-